Hey y'all, so I've been working on the mobility scooter um, on and off after being sick. And so the mobility scooter has been built to some extent, not completely. This is her. And here I'll kind of zoom out, get the tripod out of the way. I am going to put a back to it, so there is going to be a back rest here on the mobility scooter. But for now though, I've got the the board open, the, the top open for this container because I've been playing with the electrical. Um, I did get it all situated out and the motor is connected. However, I've got to replace the chain. So what I found, this is an eBay um, kit that came with the throttle, the key, came with the electric control panel, 48 volts. This is the, I don't know if you can see that, 48 volt DC controller, came with a little motor, did not come with the battery. The battery I ordered separately, this is the battery that I went with. Camo battery, K-O-M-M -M batteries. The tires, these are from Harbor Freight. This front tire here is off of a bicycle we got for 10 bucks. The frame is a mix between the bicycle and some um, boxed tubing, one inch. And then I found this booger at a uh, salvage yard, this little stand thing. And then this pedestal seat here, this is kind of cool because it can pop off, it'll raise up, and it'll sit down. This is, um, see how it raised up, and then if you sit on it, it'll sit back down. If you sit on it, so you can shorten it, shorten it and lift it. That is a Harbor Freight stool that comes with the coaster, and so we just cut it and attached it to another bar. These I have angled, the handlebars will go back, but for right now I have them angled to keep them out of the way so I can work on it. But that's her, that's my little mobility scooter. I will do another video when I get the new chain in so I can show you how it runs. Um, right now, the chain, there's a link. It, this chain did not come with a master link. Um, so I had to order a new chain that came with a master link. And I tried to get away with welding the chain uh, together and that didn't quite work and I need to tighten it too. Um, so yeah, we're waiting on a new chain so that we can actually run the booger but this is the mobility scooter. So I will film this. Um, on the back of the scooter for the mobility scooter, I'd like to make some for the battery and the motor. So something that would go over the two of them. So I measured that out. It's about 13 and a half inches by 11 and a half, I believe. And I found a tote. And at the top of the tote, we're going to cut the tote, the outside of the tote, and flip it over and have that be my box. Now, this is the top to cover this booger. Once all the wires are smushed down, that shuts nicely. And then I've got little holes on the side. I can just strap tie that up. That's to cover the motor. And that I just made out of metal. But this little guy... I think it's going to be easiest just to convert a tote. So let's grab some measurements.
works. So it sits on the frame pretty nicely. Actually, it just sits right down. Um, right here is where I had to cut for the seat post. And I think I saw online the other day, there's some like, um, a way to iron plastic, something like that. So I think what I'll do, see how these grooves come in like this. I don't know if these grooves are deep enough. I don't think they are. I think these are a little bit, Oh, these ones might be deep enough though. Um, I'll probably cut one of these channels here, borrow this channel or cut this channel right here and then channel in a piece here and iron it back. Um, I saw the other day that there was some kind of a plastic ironing or, or plastic welding that you could do. So that would stabilize that piece right there. But at least now I've got a cover for it. Um, and my idea to tie it down is just to create a few little holes and just zip tie it all the way around for now. Because I'm lazy like that. And then I have this little booger I want to add. Hee <laughs> hee. Give him a little, little brake light. So I'll create a template for this and cut a hole in here. Maybe I've got a hole saw. Do I have a hole saw? Let's see if I have a hole saw. It is going to be the right size. Probably not the right size, but close to the right size. Mm. Hole saws. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Is that... Ooh, look at that. That would work this would actually work. Okay, let's go see where we want this thing. Oh, let's grab a drill. Yeah, trusty. Trusty Ryobi. Okay. So I think right there in the center would work. I'm hoping... Yeah, I don't think that the wiring would clash with anything. Maybe if I do it right up here at the top. Okay, I'm gonna do it right up there at the top, all right. put it on piece first. Uh. This stuff really doesn't want to come out. When it comes to Gorilla Glue, sometimes a lot goes a long way, or a little goes a long way. Holy cow. Well, okay. 
Okay, let's see if that's enough. I'll do that to that side. Watch, I'm not going to be able to get it to fit now that I've got the glue in there. That would suck. exactly what's going to happen. Nope. I... Think I've got it. I've got to tape it down. There we go. Nope. I popped it on one side. Just gonna let it sit. So that is the their tail light. Just let that thing sit. And I'll put a thing of sealant around it. Ah! The more I play with it, the more it pops out. all it needed. It's just the hair of the sanding. Okay, we're just gonna let that sit though. have a lot in there. Hmm. I have a knife or something I can use to spread it around with? Piece of junk paper. I just spread some on the inside. It's a mess of a job, but that will be their little brake light. That's all she wrote for this video.